Welcome to Philadelphia Christian Church, and we thank you for choosing Philadelphia to worship. We would like to welcome all first-time visitors. Make yourself at home, and for those who are from out of state, please visit our Welcome Center in the foyer for a token of love to you. For our online family tuning in, we pray that the presence of God would be in your home or wherever you are. Let's start off with our Philly testimonies. What's going on, Philly? We're back once again. I'm standing next to Miss Marilyn. And Miss Marilyn, I have the question of the day for you. Okay. And the question of the day is, who first invited you to Philadelphia? Well, it really wasn't an invite, so to speak, but I got here through James Malvo, J. Malvo. Um, we were at a crossroads in our lives, and um, James had been coming to Philly. He was invited by his wife, Iola, my daughter-in-law. Love y'all. Um, and we had a, a change, change of life. And James came back radically changed. And um, I wanted to find out what he doing, what's going on, why is he such change. And um, I came in the doors of Philly, and the first thing I noticed when I came in was the men of Philly, um, young men of Philly, um, young men between the ages of 18, 19, 20, and 30. And I was like, oh, wow, that's different. Um, seeing young men praying. I, I remember walking in and seeing Brother Carl and Anthony and Brian praying, just really praying. So that kind of struck me as something different about church. And so I said, okay, let me, let me sit here for a little while. And of course, like some people have leery feelings about why they want to come to Philly. They hear stuff on the streets. But then I sat in the ministry and I sat under pastor. It wasn't the first day I came. I came to Sunday, I came to Tuesday, I came the following Sunday, and um, it spoke to my heart. It, sp it spoke to my heart and my soul, and ever since then it has, it, I, it, I couldn't change. It, it has been a change. And I thank God for changing my son. It changed me, and our lives has just been on the up climb, and, and I gotta thank Philadelphia for it. Okay, now speaking of change, I know you say it changed a few times, so, the experience you got when you first came, was that part of the change as well? Yes, it was because um, I wasn't living a good life. I wasn't living a holy life. Um, I was going from church to church, um, searching. Um, like I said at the beginning, my we had a family loss. And when you have a family loss, it kind of changes your whole dynamic because I had nothing else to hold on to but God. And so I think a lot of what the change was was the fact that we needed to move forward. God has called us to something greater. And until we make that change and turn around from those ways, he can only bring us bring us higher. So that's the change. I got you. I appreciate it. Look, Philadelphia, change. That's the word of the day. Right now, it's time for the good news of the week. Carlos C. Sharp Charles has released his instrumental Healing Prayer CD available in the foyer after service. The purpose is to provide you with an atmosphere of healing in your home, car, or wherever you are. PMG's Kingdom Jewels' new single, Thinking About You, is now available on Apple Music, Google Play, and Spotify, distributed by Philadelphia Music Group. Kevin Chavis has released his second book, Covering the Shepherd, available now in the foyer or visit www.extm.org to place your order online. Brought to you by Expounding Truth Publishing. Congratulations to Robert and Lynn Thompson on their marriage unity on November 17th. Also, a happy birthday to Robert Thompson. Congratulations and happy birthday. Happy birthday shout out to Sarah Senegal turning 52 on November 30th. Happy birthday. Let's congratulate Phil and Misha Romar, who will be celebrating 21 years of marriage on November 28th. Happy anniversary. Happy 50th birthday on December 3rd to Carol Andrus, a.k.a. Mama Passion. Happy birthday. Let's congratulate this year's 2019 HFL Hebrew Flag Football League champions. For the men's league, congratulations to Team CIA. For the women's league, congratulations to Emerald Eagles. And finally, for the children's league, congratulations 
to Bits Team Power. We would like to thank all of the teams for participating in the 2019 HFL season. Philadelphia Christian Church would like to give its sympathy and condolences to the Fluges family with the going home of one of Philly's members, Brother Michael Rollins Flugens. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. For your good news to be featured on the Good News of the Week, please email to phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. That's phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. We must receive it by 3 p.m. on Thursdays to be featured on Sundays at Tuesday's announcements. Today is Communion Sunday, so join us as we remember the blood that was shed and the body that was broken for our sins. If it had not been for the Lord who died for us, where would we be today? This week, Saints, is a regular week at Philadelphia with Monday through Friday noonday prayer. If you're available on your lunch break, stop by and stand in agreement with the Saints in praying for the world, the United States, Louisiana, and the church. Tuesday Bible study will be at 7 p.m. Join us. If you missed last Bible study, you can download the Philly app right from your app store. It's available on Android or Apple devices. Just search for PCC Lafayette. The School of Prayer will be at 6.15 p.m. on Thursday evening. Be with us for corporate prayer and learn how to pray and stand in agreement with the saints. The Bible tells us that we should weep with those who weep and rejoice with those who rejoice. This month, the Farm Ministry would like to extend an exclusive invitation to all those people who are suffering with grief and loss during this time. We'll be meeting 7 o'clock every Thursday after prayer. God bless. Hope to see you. Then. Reignite the fire on Thursdays after School of Prayer here at Philadelphia. Reminder that Philadelphia t-shirts are now available to pre-order at the table in the foyer. Sign up after service. Mark your calendar for the men's camp out coming on Friday, December 13th, 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. Saturday morning. All men are invited for fellowship for fathers and sons, uncles and nephews, friends and neighbors. Come and enjoy good Christian company. Bring your tents, lounge chairs, and cookware to prepare a meal for yourself or some to share. It will all take place at Brother Donald Harvey's residence, 1091 Lena Drive, Arnoldville. The Single Ladies Ministry invites all single ladies to join them on the journey and word that God has set for 2020. Prosper in all things. They will first kick off with a nutrition class December 21st at 4 p.m. here at Philadelphia. We hope to see you there. Saints of God, those were your announcements. Stand to your feet. It's worship time.